Being with us, everybody, and first on two detectives call it a case of domestic terrorism. Somebody freed more than a thousand captive mate near Astoria, and today the Animal Liberation Front is claiming responsibility. KG's Brian Barker is live near where it happened, and Brian, some of the mink are still out there. They are really incredible. There may be as many as 400 mink out there roaming around somewhere. They've been getting run over by cars and attacked by dogs, killed by dogs even. And the FBI says this is an act of terrorism. Somewhere near Swinson, on a farm that's grown mink for fur for years, someone snuck onto the property in the night and set 1,500 of the animals free. Absolutely. This is a... Uh... It's domestic terrorism. Classip County Sheriff says he's launched a major investigation. We are not showing the specific farm that was targeted because the owner is worried he'll be attacked again. The Animal Liberation Front released a statement claiming responsibility that says farmers should, quote, find a new profession. Fur farmers are a dying breed. Get out before you are forced out, unquote. And I would like to warn some of those uh, Alf and Elf people, if they do come down here, we will find room for them in our small jail, and uh, they will stay, and hopefully uh, the landowners won't find them first. This is not the first time someone has done this out here. It's been happening for years. Mink farms, detectives say, are easy targets because they're rarely protected by fences or security, and animal extremists object to the way the animals are treated. The latest attack comes after a series of other mink